Welcome on stage, Alexandra, who will now present her project. Dear members of the jury, dear audience, my name is Alexandra and I am a student of the European School Lux One. Together with my friend Paulina, we presented the project Analysis of, um, Analysis of Sleeping Patterns of High School Students and Its Effects. So why did we decide to do this? Well, this is why. Seeing as students at our, look, at our school seem very tired, we decided to investigate further and make our own study on how, how widespread this problem was and what its causes and effects were. So to do this, we made our own survey on Microsoft Forms, consisting of 14 questions for students aged 16 or older at our school. Uh, to promote our survey, we made posters, which you can see here. We uh, sent around emails, but we also asked students directly. So what were our results? Well, in total, out of the 512 students concerned, 146 responded to our survey. The majority of uh, students who responded were female and aged 16 and 17. Um, one of the questions we asked was at what time they woke up and at what time they went to sleep, both on school days and on weekends. From this data, we calculated that students um, on school days sleep on average uh, seven hours and 13 minutes. This is below the recommended amount of eight to 10 hours for, eight, eight, uh, for 13 to 18 year olds. This means that students do not sleep enough. On weekends, however, we calculated that the average student sleeps 10 hours and 23 minutes. This means that students sleep longer on weekends, which makes their sleeping habits more irregular. The shift between um, the times they woke up and the times they went to sleep is also clearly seen on the graphs. We also asked whether students experience any difficulties falling asleep. In general, female students tend to have more difficulties, um, ha tend to have more difficulties falling asleep. One of the reasons for this could be the menstrual cycle, which causes um, the uh, hormonal balance to change. We then asked ask students, in their opinion, why they had difficulties falling asleep. The majority of students responded that uh, it was due to thoughts, stress, and concerns, which are psychological reasons. 42% of students admitted that they couldn't fall asleep because of um, irregular sleeping habits, which we had also observed on the slide before. Then we asked students what activities they did within an hour before falling asleep to find out whether there were some other reasons why they couldn't fall asleep. Here, we found that a majority of 60% used their device before falling asleep. 57% specified that they used social media and 51% that they watched Netflix or other streaming services. All three of these activities exposed the students to blue light, which is stimulating. Blue light disturbs the um, uh, circadian rhythm, part of the body's biological clock, because it raises cortisol levels and it suppresses the melatonin excretion. At the end of our survey, we asked students for their opinions. This first student um, understands the importance of sleep, while the second student, um, while the second student admits that their uh, sleeping habits are irregular. The third student um, acknowledges that, um, that their lack of sleep has an effect on their school performance. So what are the consequences of a lack of sleep? Well, firstly, as we have seen, students tend to wake up and go to sleep at different times during school days and during weekends. This means that their sleeping habits tend to become irregular. This could result in a vicious cycle because as students try to recompensate their sleep on weekends, they, their, sleep uh, their sleep deprivation actually gets worse. 
Scientific research has also shown that, um, that a person's risk of getting depression or uh, metabolic issues such as diabetes type 2 or obesity increases with their lack of sleep. Researchers have also proven that sleep is crucial for brain plasticity. This means that when students do not get enough uh, sleep, they will have difficulties in processing what they learned during the day, including the material they learned at school. This may negatively affect their academic performance. So what can students do about this? Well, um, students should not underestimate the amount of sleep they need, but instead they should get the recommended amount um, because it shows the best what they actually need. Sorry. Um, students should also, uh, should also establish a, um, a set sleep-wake cycle by, um, by setting themselves bed and wake times. And students should actually create a bedtime routine where they avoid any stimulating activities like using their device. Above all, our survey shows that students do want to solve the problems with their sleep. More than half of students indicated it was somewhat too extremely important for them to change their current sleeping habits. Seeing as the school plays a central role in students' life in the future, we want to show, this, show our results to the school, inform them about the, the a lack of sleep of students and the problems with sleep students were having, and encourage them to take the well-being of students more important. But we also think that it is more important that is, but we also think that it is important to continue our, survey, uh, our research with a larger age group and a more representative sample. Thank you for your attention. Congratulations on your presentation. Um, great that you could make it work to present basically also for your partner who couldn't uh, join you today. Um, congratulations, first of all. Um, yeah, we had to ask a few questions on, on, on your work. Um, what was the starting point of your, of your study? Well, me and Paula were like um, very close friends and uh, we always talked about or like also about how uh, sometimes we went to sleep too late or we were feeling tired during school. And, um, and then also in the school, we noticed that students like look very tired and complain about the lack of sleep. So uh, we decided to investigate further and to find out how, how really, how big the problem was and um, why students actually had, had uh, did not get enough sleep. Um, and what were the consequences of that? <laughs> Sounds good. Um, and um, did you have surprising findings during your work on the project? Well, um, it was a bit surprising that students actually admitted that because of their irregular sleeping habits, they had difficulties falling asleep. So they actually noticed that there was a problem. Um, and that was very surprising because usually when you have a problem and you notice it, you, you try to solve it somehow. So I think that um, our research can really help the students because we also like put some solutions in at the end. Mm -hmm. Is there any recommendations you can give to students now after your studies or maybe to our general audience uh, with relation to their sleeping habits? Yes, so firstly they should really try to get the recommended amount of sleep. There's always, um, you can find on the internet, there's, um, there's a tabelle, there's a tabelle? A table. Yeah. A table, which, um, which shows which age group needs how much sleep in hours. Mm -hmm. Of course that's just a recommendation, but uh, it's, still, it's still science. Uh, so, um, so for the general audience, I'm, I'm sure that helps. Um, also, it's very important to not only get that amount of sleep, but have it like have a set bed and wake time, because our body really needs regular 
uh, regular sleeping and re regular uh, waking times. And um, thirdly, our third point was that, um, exactly, that they should make uh, a routine, a bedtime routine, where they really avoid uh, using their devices. Cause, because those devices, they're, um, they emit blue light and uh, that is stimulating. So it makes it harder to fall asleep, even yeah. if you want to. And, and there's also um, things such as uh, filters for blue light and might also help. And also for glasses, there's also uh, right. also filters. And, um, and I'm guessing it's similar for also sports activities that you should avoid yeah, exactly. doing those uh, late. Um, well, it depends on what sports, because uh, of course, like running very hard or um, like any stimulating sport activities, yes. But for example, like yoga, that's very um, relaxing. So um, we did not study exactly that, but um, we can really expect that uh, it would not hurt before falling asleep. Yeah. But yeah, you noticed I have a UV filter or... No, I didn't notice, but uh, I am aware of it. <laughs> do you have it in your glasses? Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> um, do you have any... Uh, do you consider your project now as, as, as finished and rounded up? Or do you um, feel the need to look further into um, yeah, following, following the topics or um, looking into additional research now? Well, during our study, we were like we were noticing that more and more, like the more we were researching into it, the more we found could be go even further. So it's really, it's still like open. It's still, it's, we just like began it because there's really so much more where you can like, for example, affect on school performance um, to investigate further into that um, or investigate further whether it's like the sleep quality, how that is, because there's really a lot of topics where, where you can still um, still investigate further on that. So do you already have in mind that you will continue the project and maybe come again next year? I hope, because actually it's our last year of high school, mm. but, um, and of course we'll go to different universities, mm. but, um, but it would be nice to come back. It would be nice and would follow as well, yeah. It's nice to have a team partner. You're having two years of experience now yeah. in the competition. Um, so is there anything, this is the question we really like to ask um, to the participants, anything you can advise to um, yeah, people interested in taking part in the, in the competition? Uh, yeah, so start planning early. <laughs> <laughs> and um, start planning early and just go for it. Because actually it's just... It seems so like much work. It is a lot of work, but in the end, like you, you get a re recompensated. You really you, you can present it. It's it's not that bad. Even like the jury, it's nice. <laughs> so <laughs> so really, um, yeah. So you re you really it's yeah. You can only win. Like you not only like win a prize, but you can only like grow also um, uh, grow like your. Uh, internally and develop skills, important skills like making a presentation, writing a research paper, and also to have the um, Durchsetzkraft. Uh, persistence. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> to have like the persistence, because you really practice starting a project and then pulling it through. Like really practice this, mm -hmm. um, this skill, which is really important, yeah. yeah. So overall a good experience? Yeah, really nice. <laughs> Yeah. Brilliant. Nothing to add to to those uh, final words, I believe. So thank you very much for the interview and thank you for your time. Um, congratulations for your work so fun and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you.